Have you ever thought of using Excel to solve a Wordle puzzle? I hadn't until I saw that my colleague, Bill Jellin, also known as Mr. Excel, has a video on it. So when he was doing a webinar for our AP Now members, I asked him if he'd be willing to come over and share his secrets. So welcome, Bill. I'm going to turn the floor over to you. Hey, Mary, this is great. I saw a lot of people in Twitter posting their Wordle results. I'm like, what is this? You know, and, and downloaded it. And I started to think, you know, that we could probably optimize that first guess. You know, what, <laughs> what guess would be the, the best guess? And my first pass at this without realizing, you know, that other people were working on the same problem was I downloaded a Scrabble dictionary and <laughs> found all the five letter words using the LEN function in Excel, of course. And that became my universe of, of possible words. And then later, once I posted the first video on YouTube, a friend of mine in Australia said, oh, you know, there's, there's an official list of Wordle right. words. There's 2,315 <laughs> words it could be. And then another 10,000 words that you're allowed to guess that it can't be. And that seems strange to me. Like, why would you ever guess a word that it can't be? But that actually, that's a good strategy that, yes. that ha happens a lot. <laughs> uh, you know, you can eliminate a lot of words by guessing a word that it can't be, but using letters. Mm -hmm. So, you know, my first pass, I think was similar to, to Mary, what you and I discussed previously was which letters are the most common. Yep. Like R, yes. S, T. I actually looked that up. <laughs> right. And, and, you know, so I came up with a rose or a rise mm -hmm. just because they're using R, S, E and A, and then the I or the O are kind of, you know, the U is used least frequently of right. the vowels, but a rise and a rose were, were kind of the ones that I started using. And then, you know, once I got an answer, I was like, okay, well, which of the possible words of the 2315 words would have given that answer? And it was all kind of a just, you know, step by step. And then eventually over time, I, I developed this spreadsheet here, which I call the Wordle universe, right? And this is a huge, <laughs> huge table. Down the left-hand side are all 2,315 words that it could be the puzzle today. And then across the top, it's the bigger list. It's 12,947 words that you're allowed to guess, right? So, you know, I start out with my favorite word and guess that. And then, of course, Wordle gives us a set of, of colors. Green for an exact match, yellow for right letter wrong place, and gray. You know, and unfortunately... Green is easy, I use G, and Y is easy, I use yellow. But then gray, uh -oh. it's another G. So I, I substituted that for a dash. You know, so basically the, the solving methodology comes down to comes down to this. Let's just say, because it's here on the first screen, let's say that I my first guess was abled, abled. I select just that column of abled, and then in Excel, use data filter. And let's say the world gave me back, I don't know, let's say green, gray, yellow, gray, gray, uh, you know, just to make something up. So I would come here and say, all right, well, we'll give me green, blank, yellow, gray, gray. And then look at this, this is great. I've now eliminated, I've reduced that 2,315 Wordle words down to just these. It looks like there's uh, 15 candidates, right? And now, you know, it's, it becomes much easier that we've reduced the 2,315 down to, to 15, right? So that's, that's generally my method. And then, you know, kind of in step two, yeah, I do a lot of, a lot of math to figure out which of those 15 words would be the best word to guess. Right. Yeah. Right. And, but it's still basically the, the same, the same type of thing. And, you know, it's one of those, it, it, here, here's the thing that gets me. So I just reduced it down to 15 words and that's great. Right. I love 15 right. words, but on a day where it reduces it down to 150 words, you know, I'm not as excited. That, no. That's a huge <laughs> number of words. And so using Excel and the tools out on data, what if analysis, the data table, which is basically a sensitivity analysis, you know, I ran every possible word or combination, every single word that it could be versus every single guess. And, you know, what's the worst possible thing that could happen? And so these two words raise and arise. The worst thing that could happen is 143 different words still in play after the first guess. And so at first I was all about minimizing risk, right? Which I guess is the finance. Right. Know, that's the finance. Me, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But then there's, there's something else here, you know, what's the average number right. of words. And so finding the first guess that will give us the best average, you know, so there's different answers for each of those. And, you know, so currently today I, I'm back to a rose. I started with a rose and then switched to 
other words along the way, but I, I come back to a rose. And this next part, Mary, I don't know. Tell me what you would do here. I will. The puzzle people, the puzzle people are really upset that I diverted from this. But, you know, I'm like, okay, we're, we're nine months into Wordle, or I don't know. So there's 270 words out of those 2,315 that have already happened. Aren't I going was going to gonna ask you about that. <laughs> right? And I removed those. So I took Do my 2,315. So every day you remove them. Well, no, like once a month I remove them, right? Okay. Because it's a hassle <laughs> to calculate everything again. But I did that. And I put that on YouTube. And the puzzle guys are like, well, wait a second. Your numbers aren't matching mine. I said, well, that's because I don't have a time machine. There's no way those... Nine months of words are going to happen again. Let's just remove them. They're like, Do, well, oh, no. That, that's what I wanted to ask you. Are you sure they're never going to? No, to I'm not. I guess I'm not. <laughs> I know the way that Josh Wordle programmed the game when he wrote it, they would never happen again, at least until the 2315 right. words were exhausted. And then I guess they would have to happen again. Right. But now that the New York Times owns it, I mean, they could always you know, switch things up and start reusing words. Did you pull out the six words that they pulled I did. out? Yeah, okay. the six words. And it's so funny. One of those words was agora, which is, you know, a Greek theater or something like that for where plays were held. And growing up in Akron, Ohio, we had a famous you know rock venue called the Cleveland Agora. And so to me, agora was a completely normal word. But, you know, I guess they decided that agora was too strange of a word. Yeah. Uh, and I it, think they took up. this stance that if there was somebody who might be offended, they just took it out. Sure. Yeah, and, I, yeah, I, yeah, I can understand. I yeah, can, I I can kind of understand why they did that. Right. Okay. So my favorite starting word, although I vary, is stare, S-T-A-R-E. S-T-A-R-E. That's awesome. Okay. And every time I use it and then I do the Wordle bot, it tells me it's not a great choice. And it oh. tells me, like, if I win in, like, two or three times, I have a very high percentage of luck. Not skill, luck. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So let's 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 just take a look. So S T A R E control fine. S yeah. T A R E. Let's see how that shakes out here. We're just going to copy this, and I'm going to insert a new sheet, and we'll get a count of how many possibilities. Do you use it every day, or do you sometimes just play? No, I. I it's horrible. I, I can't play it without. No. Like, <laughs> I and I'll even start. I'll, I'll get the phone, I'm away from the computer, and I'll put in a first word, and I get a bunch of tiles, and I'm like, I don't know just, what I'm to just, do. I'm not going to waste the guess, you know, because I know that if I came back to the computer, I'd come up with an optimal guess, yeah. and I don't want to just fumble through it. So, so did you, have you ever gotten it on one? No. Me neither. Me neither, yeah. but my brother did one day. Did and, he really? Yeah, he got it. I think he was using stair or chair, I cannot remember. Because at one point I was saying that was the best word to use, which clearly it wasn't. So he was like, it, it was kind of shocking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that's that's yeah. interesting. I get I, two about once a month. Yeah, yeah. And, and, you know, the average, the official average is you can't always do it in three. There's sometimes it's, yes. it's going to have to be four. There's people that run every permutation. And so if you're somewhere between three and four, you are you're doing really, really well. I was six today. Oh, no. It was, it was one, one of, those, of those words yes. that, that you had four letters and there were yes. so many yeah, choices. Yes. I yes. hate those words. I know. <laughs> like fight, light, might. Right. You know, it, it's yes. just like, and each time you guess, you're only eliminating one letter. So that's where, that's where I'll often switch and try and find. Yes. That's what I do. Right. Yeah, right. Although when I get to the four letters, I'm so sure I'm going to get it. And then one, <laughs> one of the times, cause, you know, I just put in the first thing I think. Oh, might like the, like you say. Fi oh, might, and then um, um well, what? That wasn't it. Oh, well, maybe it could be fight. Well, you know, and then yeah. and then when I'm putting in the fifth one and it tell it's telling me no, I'm like, oh no. Yeah, you're in trouble. <laughs> and at first, at first, I was trying to think, you know, are they playing? Like, what what time of year is it? it, it you know, if it's Cinco de Mayo, is it May fifth? Is there a word that's more Spanish than others? But I don't think that that no, had anything to I, do with. <laughs> Especially now that they've removed a few words and everything's shifted right. a couple of days. Right, right. <laughs> so you think like I think, but this may or may not be true, that there take there there will be no repeats. Yeah, currently the way that it's programmed, there would be no repeats. That is correct. Okay. Um, okay. And so. no plurals. I didn't realize that. Is that true? There's no plurals? That uh, it's a rumor. I've not seen it verified, but if you look at all the answers, there are no plurals. Plural. But as we knew, I think yesterday, that doesn't mean S can't be in the last position. Right. Okay. Yep. That's right. 
That's right. Yeah. So at one point I was using tears, T-E-A-R-S. And then I was like, oh, no plurals. Well, that's kind of a half-wasted guess. Yeah. So then you're never going to get it in one, right? Right. With tears. So I was real, I was real, like, I want to get it in one. But then I realized that a rose, you know, someone has figured out like where, like a rose is still a year and a half away, right? So I know that if I keep guessing a rose, I'm never going to get one you know, for a year and a half. A year. Like yeah. 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 So, and then in my mind, well, so you've got your Excel in my mind, I'm trying to remember, okay, what were the ones and don't guess them because they won't, but I'm like you, if I only have one or two letters, sometimes I'll just take a guess with a word with all different letters. Cause I just need to find some more letters. If I have oh, two letters, I'm not, I'm not that good. Do you have a good second guess then? I've heard people yes. that have a first and second guess that, you know, manage to eliminate. I have a first, second, and third guess. Really? I call, them, I call them hack words and I only use them. I'll tell you what they are. In fact, I think I have hack words for a rise in a rose. Okay. okay. Yes. Clearly I've lost my mind. Yeah. I get it. <laughs> yeah. So my hack words that I use, if I start with stare, S-T-A-R-E. Right. The next one I use is Indol, I-N-D-O-L. And I use that because those are the next most common letters and getting the vowels in. Right. And then yeah. if I'm stuck and I don't have enough so that I can guess, I use chump, um, especially if I'm short on vowels. If I'm short on vowels, I use chump. Do you remember the day that the only vowel was a Y? I yes, like, and I got that. I got I was, that. I'm so angry. What do you mean there's no vowels? Oh, sometimes a Y. Oh, yeah, that's one of the things. I talk about that, too, because that is, when you have no vowels, then it has. It must be a Y. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I actually got that one in four. Ah, that's good. I don't remember what I did. And, and yeah. at first, I was saving every puzzle every day. Like I saved the Excel file and I'm like, I'm never going to go back and look at these. And World, of course, gives you the statistics of how many times I'm sorry, right. two, three, and four. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. So here I, I'm analyzing your first guess of stare. There's a 128 possible, they call these constellations, 128 possible answers you can get. And look at all these answers that you might get that then narrow it down to exactly one word. So in those cases, 20 cases, you'll, you'll have it for sure in guess two. And then... A lot of nice low numbers down here, but there is the horrible case. It's the all gray. When you get an answer of everything gray, you didn't get a single letter. That's always like just about the worst. Then you're only narrowed down to 197 words. Yeah. With stare. So that's that's my minimize the risk. You know, there's right. gonna be 197 times it's gonna give you just gray, 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 and you're gonna be here. I've gone through like two rounds with one letter. I'm like, oh Lord, I'm yeah. in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah but but it's fun it is it's yeah. it's it's fun yeah it's yeah. fun and it's one of those things that it was perfect for excel because excel has all these text functions you know that you can isolate the various letters with the mid function and then a lot of count ifs to you know see if it matches uh, yeah so i'll ask you one more question then i will let you go because i could talk to you about this forever okay uh, <laughs> do people complain that you've done this no now, I know that there were two or three of us who were kind of leading the pack. I was the only one using Excel. Others were using you know, Python or re really high-end languages. And someone wrote into him and said, you know, you're ruining the game. And he's like, well, you don't have to use this, right? This, right. Is, just, exactly. this is just showing that there, you know, is there an optimal strategy? Is there a way to always solve in three? No, there's not. There's some combinations right. where you're going to have to go to four, right? Which is good, you know, because I have some friends who are like, oh, yeah, if you don't get in three, you know, you that's pretty bad. Well, no, no, it's not pretty bad. There's just some combinations that it's right. impossible to get, right? So. Yeah, exactly. I saw an article, some guy had a way that you could, he could guarantee because you get six choices. Right. So he figured out five words that used 25 of the letters of the alphabet. Oh, interesting. That's so, a, yeah. That's yeah. A, that's an interesting strategy another, there. Another, another, right. another crazy person like yeah. us. Yeah. Right. <laughs> All righty. Okay. All right. So if you like this episode, please give us a thumbs up. If you loved it, please subscribe. We produce new content for the channel three times a week. Tuesdays and Thursdays are devoted to payment and accounts payable issues. And Saturdays are reserved for Wordle. Nice. Please check out. <laughs> yeah. Please yeah. check out Bill's Excel books. I think he has sixty of them on Amazon, and his Excel videos on his YouTube channel called Mr. Excel. It's the place I go anytime I have a problem with Excel, which is more often than I'd like to admit. 
please check out our videos on the misconceptions about AP and our playlist on more Wordle expert strategies. Links to both should appear momentarily. There's a link to both in the show notes below. As always, we greatly appreciate your thumbs up, your comments, your shares, and your subscribes.